for the next hour, you will be inspired. Don't forget to take notes. It helps. Be encouraged. Your journey to Wellville is now. Hello, everyone. My dear ones, it's such a pleasure to always sit down with you. Kind of a ragged day for me. I'm running around. I've been uh, pumping kind of a watermelon fasting, so I'm detoxing big time. Excited about that. I always love to detox. You know, you get so much more out. I've been fasting for about four days, and, you know, you just get a lot of mucus out and stuff, and I really love that. So forgive me, I'm just not always on top today, but there's a couple of cases here we need to talk about. And then tomorrow I'm going to try to come in and do an all-dayer, but let's see how they, how my detox goes. <laughs> but um, this case came in, and it's about a knob, is that correct? Uh, uh, oh, a NAR. Uh, from Russia. This is a, I've just had a chance to briefly review this. This gentleman's 23 years old and was hit by a car. And the pictures, I mean, it's just sad stuff. And the world is full of sad stuff. This looks like a really nice guy. These things tries my emotions, and we're supposed to get a hold of our emotions. But good healers are emotional people, and there's no two ways around it. If you don't have emotions, a little bit, you uh, you lose the love side of that. So you have to, you know, that keeps that balance in in one. But uh, supposedly, this gentleman was. Uh, I don't mean, there's so many updates here and so much information uh, regarding this. Uh, I know, uh, let's see, in February 14, Three Sisters, the privately owned Center of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. Um, let me see here. Julia, the parachutist, 30 years, unsuccessfully parachute jump. She stays in Three Sisters nearby, Anar. Julia has been uh, stayed for seven months in Germany. Anyway, this uh, Anar was in a coma for 10 days and just all kinds of bruising to the brain and breakdown of the uh, brain tissue a little bit here. So let's talk about this case because there, I was just uh, received an email. Who's this from? Uh, one of you guys has been working with Anar. Namaste, uh, Vladimir. Uh, hey, my friend. You know what? You've been doing good here. When you get a case like this, you know, especially when it's a neurological case, whether it's a central or autonomic, what's the food you guys know that's essential for this gentleman? Fruit. And I mean you're going to find the best fruit you can. It's an advanced case, so you want to find the best fruit that you can. And I don't know, it didn't say anything about a feeding tube. I mean, the picture kind of suggests that, uh, obviously. So let's do, you got a juice. An implant, of course. Um, now, herbs. Doesn't matter whether you're you're down like that or up. Well, you do start off cautiously. You want the kidneys. You want the adrenals. And if you got capsules, you open them up. You know how you you use syringes, and I'm sure that she's used to you know understanding how you feed this way. But you'd be a hundred percent fruit diet or berry fruit and berry diet. Uh, those two would be the top of the of the world in terms of energy. Think about this. Uh, Marcy just found a study that was done by some country, and it was on heart attacks. And what they found, it, uh, and they was focusing on a fruit and vegetable diet. And what they found was if you add one meal of vegetables raw vegetables in your diet, you reduce your heart attack risk 5%. If you add a raw fruit meal, you reduce your heart attack 11%. See the difference in terms of detoxification, keeping your lymph clean, keeping your vasculars clean? 
big differences. And they're going to find study after study the same conclusion that as frugivores, fruit is our highest food sources. Energetically, we've talked about this before, that fruit is the highest uh, electrical food on the planet. When your nervous system has been damaged or down, you want the electricity. This is the electricity. You want the highest electrically alive food. And that's going to be your fruits and your berries. So those are the two things that this gentleman should live on exclusively. He's already thin. So you want to get a stomach and bowel in there to keep his bowels moving, whatever, whatever it's doing. You, I, I don't, you know, I don't know much on this case. There's a lot of paperwork here, but it's enough to say that you want, he's got to have a bowel movement every day if you can get that. Because as you start getting into his body, wastes are going to be coming out. Remember, it's as much about urine as it is about stool. So getting those kidneys filtering and getting those adrenals up are key. A shock like that, I'm sure his adrenals are way down. I definitely would focus on those adrenal glands. Um, second of all, upper circuit and brain and nerve. Essential. Brain and nerve number two and upper circulation. This would be essential uh, for anyone with anything like lesions or, or trauma to the brain or weak myelin sheaths. So however you want to look at this. Someone was asking about uh, laminating, re, re, uh, my, laminating the myelin sheaths. You've got to have neurotransmitters to do that. And that increases as you increase adrenal function. So real important that this gentleman have those things. I put them on Parasite M. That keeps the fungus down, keeps overgrowth down. I would definitely use upper circuit brain and nerve, like I said. I would I'd do the rest of the detox. I would get into the kidneys. I would get into the lymphatic system. And I probably only use one lymphatic formula right now. Make sure those kidneys, I use two kidney formulas. Because his biggest concern, again, is going to be kidney failure and, and that sort of thing. Because he's not rebuilding what he broke down. And that means he's too acidic to do that. So the trauma and the acid from the trauma is probably still hanging around. And it's the lymph system that has to deal with this, not the blood. And that's the problem. This is why some of these injuries you see are not doing well. It's the lymph system, not the blood system. But with that said, increasing blood flow, oxygenation, I tell you what, too, you know hyperbaric chambers, if you could get this lad into a hyperbaric chamber, I think that would be very, very beneficial. So those are the things that I would really focus on, take a look at him in that manner and uh, detoxify him because why detoxification in a case of trauma? Because we have to, we, the trauma couldn't heal. That trauma, the body couldn't heal from the trauma. And when a body can't heal from the trauma, what system is not allowing the body to remove damaged tissue in the waste? Remember what system deals with that? The lymphatic system. Remember, that's why cancer cells are in lymph nodes? Absolutely. And that's, that's the natural course or, or, or focus that the body takes. They don't, they don't dump cancer. Damaged cells, which is what they call cancer cells, why don't they just call them damaged cells, throw, throw them in the blood, the body doesn't do that. Throws them into the lymph system, right where it should be. It's that natural course of macrophages, uh, lymphocytes, that whole, that whole lymph system. That's what it's there for. So learning that system is really key in someone, even with injuries, that can't heal from an injury. Blood's flowing or the, or the tissue's dead. So it's the lymph system that isn't, is maintaining interstitial, I rem, remember that's around the cells, interstitial acidosis. Take a look at cells. It's a, a picture of a tissue in a book, and you will see how thin that interstitial fluid is and why it's such a hard system to deal with over blood and how it's a big friggin' deal, you know. But that's what I would do. 100% fruit berry diet. I would hit this guy with a lot of herbs in terms of opening him up. And if you, if you wanted to, I mean, you could do some superfood blend just a little bit, maybe just to just give it some, some power. I don't think it would hold him back in terms of neural rebuilding. But that's, that's what I would do here. Uh, if you want to get a hold of me more with this, I'll be glad to work with uh, this lad anytime. Anyone like this. There's no reason why you shouldn't get this, uh, this lad back. But you have to do those things to do it. Because if you're not up to that level, I don't see how people come out of that. I've gotten a lot of people out of these kind of conditions on the fruit, but never anything below that. And it's just 
That's just a course we have to do. So think about that. Get back with me. Someone get a hold of Jin B here and let's set the let's get a little more involved in this case because we can give this lad a life again. Mm. I have so many. I hope I can come in tomorrow and just talk to you for an extended period of time because I always, even though I feel all of you out there, I love all of you too. And uh, what you what you're doing to yourselves and on yourselves and everything else I'm, and everyone else, it's amazing. I'm just the reports I'm hearing is incredible. And here's another another one. I just sad stuff, you know. There's so many sad things that just like, oh my God, who would want to come here? Huh. My name is uh, Alan, A L I N. I am 22 years old. 22 years old, and I am writing this email as a last resort of hope that I can be helped. Now, that, that, you know, that's going to get our attention. God, I have a more unusual condition that no one I have ever met or even heard about in Dr. Morse's videos, as I have watched most of them by now. <laughs> Thanks, my friend. Uh, if you are interested in helping me, I'm always interested in helping anyone out there. Always. Always. That's my karma <laughs> and uh, my joy. You know, what else is joyful on this planet except the love that each of us have for each other and helping each other and everybody being happy and enjoying themselves? I mean, what else? You have to fight the duality of that, meaning the good and the bad. You know, I thank God and I will do my best to repay you financially. That's not what I'm about. I mean, you know, you guys get that by now. Uh, for any of your assistance, I am at the moment pretty convinced that I am on a very declining state of health, and what accelerates it is an abscess obstruction in my nose. I cannot breathe very well, and I think this obstruction is also making the right side of my face go numb many times. I don't like that. <clears throat> I have, now, stop a minute. What obstruction could obstruct? And feel obstructive or, or make polyps and things like this in the sinuses. What system are we in? Oh, I heard every one of you. Exactly. You're in the lymphatic system. The mucus system. Right? So you've got to break loose because this mucus can get solidified. Break down your sinus bones. Break down. I mean, that's what acids do. So this mucus that you're impacted with can form cysts in the nose, everything up in the sinus. I mean, it's, you know, and you can have them cut out and they grow back because you, you're not, you, you're, you're impacted lymphatically all the way down. Uh, I cannot breathe very well, and I think this obstruction is also making my right side of my head them. I have symptoms of Bell's palsy mm -hmm, on the right eye. Uh, I sometimes feel so badly fatigued just on the right side only. Interesting that I have to close my eye for a minute to rest it down. No, not really, because that shows how weak your nervous system is. That's why rest is vital, because think of the human body as an alkaline rechargeable battery, and the adrenal glands are recharging units. And if your adrenals are down, you don't hold a charge. And it's the same thing even central. You have to charge up with neurotransmitters and the like. And if you're low in those, it's hard to recharge. And this particularly goes when you're impacted with acid mucus from all the mucus forming foods. You know, when you were a young lad, I'm sure you, uh, you, you, you had to get your lymph from your mom. And then on top of that, here comes the milks and formulas and things like this. So this is vital that you get that. And then if it, you're impacted, and it's not just up in the sinuses because of the Bell's palsy syndrome here. It's up in the brain as well. But you see how sighted the body is, one-sided, right side, left side. It isn't cross brain. It's right side, right brain. Uh, let me see here. Now, and that's just why, like MS or anything else, if you rest, you charge back up. The problem is, the weaker the adrenals, your charge doesn't hold very long. And then you're tired again. And you got to rest again. Or you fall asleep just trying to get a little rest. Mm -hmm. It's real bad when the adrenals go down. Uh, the outer portion of my eye, the outer lid, I don't know the exact name, sorry. You don't have to worry about it. You're talking to an old country boy who didn't take spelling or pronunciation well. 
I don't know the exact, okay, it's fading down. I can't express or lift my eyebrows anymore. The thing is, guys, if you can't get your kidneys to filter, you can't get your lymph moving and filtering through the lymph nodes, there's no getting better. You can take herbs, you can take, uh, you can do raw, you can, uh, you can do uh, medicinos, I don't care what you do. Now, you're not going to get well. You're going to, you know, hold back, hold at bay until one day everything goes. So this is important. Uh, his whole face feels weakened. Um, I am now avoiding to face people in the eyes as I feel a lot of bad karma and judgments coming in my direction. Well, man, you know, don't take it personally. You know, that's the curiosity of man at this level. <laughs> uh, don't take that personally, but I'll help you fix this because you want to fix this one, but you've got to get yourself draining here. To get to get this impaction, the same thing even with uh, Anar, the same, to get impactions unimpacted is hydration. And hydration is a base chemistry or an alkaline chemistry experience. I think sometimes observe science doesn't get what's going on. So there's conclusions drawn that's lumped into theories. Because as you see the movement of electrons and the changing and the ionizations, we made certain theories out of all that. And some of the theories just don't hold water. If you look at the medical world, it's all based on ridiculous theories. Nothing's based on accuracy. So the system doesn't, that best stabilizes uh, I am now avoiding to uh, create da, 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 da. I don't want to express any bad feelings or anything, but I have reached a lot over the last couple of months, and I have reached a point where I am considering leaving London. Well, I love Londoners, but London's a tough place to be healthy in. To be honest with you, I have a lot of Londoner clients, and I'm pretty familiar with that area, so I. No, it's a tough place to get healthy in. You might need to take some time and visit some tropics just for a short period of time and just live as a fruititarian uh, and pull this out of you. And that'd be your best bet. If you have the money and the, the ability to do that, I think you're in the wrong place to do that right now. And just take a trip down to Costa Rica or somewhere and uh, get yourself taken care of. The city where I have worked a lot in and made a lot of good memories and to retire back home to Romania. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, even in Romania, you know, we have a hard time. Remember I told you, I have a good friend that's a uh, homeopathic physician. Remember I told you she went over to uh, Thailand and she did, all her symptoms started going away when she started eating Thai fruit. Because Thai fruit, is this, it's all great organic, it's picked ripe. I mean, it's like a beast of another color. Uh, and, you, and don't worry about it, you'll get your, get your health back and then proceed to where you want to go. You know, where I have my parents close and where I can get a bit of nature. Well, you know, go to Romania and do that, but bring in a truckload of fruit. This condition of mine makes me unable to breathe very well. I, I bet you're a mouth breather. I have made uh, pretty much all the possible tests to back this up. Well, I mean, you don't need a test to back it up. It's obvious. When you feel obstructed, you're obstructed. Uh, would you give me a test to make sure I'm obstructed? Come on. Uh, every time when I am involved in a bit of an effort, even socially, I feel over solicited, uh, paranoid, and or parathyroid and, and thyroid are working up to make are working harder to make up for the O2 I am getting. Yeah, I know, I bet. You know, O2 saturation is probably running a little low with you. And uh, yeah, here it is. My O2 uh, saturation is 96 to 97. Uh, that's low O2 saturation. Uh, you start getting much lower than that, and your heart rate's going to go way up. Your body's going to try to compensate for that, just what he's saying here, in picking up your heart rate. And so, as you, as you get the lungs cleaned up, and you start breathing properly, because breathing through the nose is much different than breathing through the mouth, because oxygen actually is absorbed a little bit into the brain area. You can tell the difference. Play with that, and you'll see what I'm talking about. You want O2 saturation of 99. I've got, I've, I've come down as low as 98 before, and uh, right now I'm in a healing crisis. I'm hoping I can pull back up to maybe 100. I don't see 100 much, to be honest with you. Even in hospitals, we see 98, 99 most of the time. But it can go down into the 96s of it, and you start to lose that. Uh, and that's how you're getting oxygen into the blood. 
am on an almost completely fruititarian diet now, trying to supplement with coconut oil to try and regenerate my nervous system. Smart thinking. Good thinking. I would be 100% raw. I'd be 100% fruit and berries. Same thing for a gnar. You have the same problem, except a little different. He's got to rebuild, but he also has to clean first. Things are not allowing him to rebuild tissue. Well, what type of chemistry wouldn't allow the rebuilding of tissue? Aha! Acids. Of course, acids. And that's it. And the reason why you know it's acids is because that's the nature of wastes and byproducts after cell metabolism, cell respiration. That's a byproduct of the crib cycle. That's the byproduct of all cycles are acids because that's the end stages of all issues. And acids take everything out to the, to the end thing. So this is why it's essential. Now, both of these cases could do some uh, bicarbonate, some sodium bicarbonate, aluminum free, just a, as a fast track alkalizer, you know, like a teaspoon in a cup of water, whatever it is, and uh, work with that. You can call in here and get the, uh, get the exact uh, uh, side of that. But for you in school, it's in your book. Uh, I have also placed an order of one of Dr. Morse's European retailers, and I hope to get my order soon. I bought two GI brooms. That's smart, because, to be honest with you, this is my experience, guys, you can't clean this till this gets cleaned, too, because it works itself up the esophagus, up the throat, and up here, too. So, you notice that when you have cold and flu-like symptoms, it isn't generally just sinus, Settles in the bronchi and lungs because it's sit you're sitting on top of all this. And your best success is getting those bowels as cleaned up as the kidneys. Always. Uh, he's on lymphatic formula, two, two lip nodes. Absolutely. I do two of them just like that. Upper circuit, brain and nerve. Smart thinking. Kidneys and adrenals, liver, gallbladder. Yeah, just do a couple bottles of liver, gallbladder. Don't worry about that. Get something for your adrenal glands, really, because this is what's crashing here. You can tell by the way you're... Th so, get your, oh, your kidney and adrenals. Good, good, good. I hope you get yourself out of this. And don't feel like you're at your last resorts, Alan, because you're not. We'll get that cleaned up and get you down the, down the road here. If any doctor in your clinic is willing to help me with this problem, please contact me on the email address. I will be happy to follow your full guidance as you will. Uh, I'll, I'll put this to Chris. You know, we'll, we'll help you here. you got a Facebook, too, friends member of Dr. Morris or Robert Morris. That, they, they'll help you, too. We'll all help you, man. You're in good hands. You'll, you'll be helped. If you cannot take my case, come on. I don't work that way. I do not work that way, man. We take every case. Why wouldn't we? You know? It's just some of your healers don't have any. You know what I mean? Cajones. <laughs> Dr. Morris, I've been watching your videos on YouTube lately, and I have gained a lot of benefit. Oh, thanks, man. Who is this? Uh, oh, from the UK. Sam. Hey, Sam. I have a few questions. You mentioned in one of your videos about the fact that every thought uses energy from the body and soul, and the more thoughts, the more energy loss. Yeah, didn't you ever notice that? Do you ever study real hard and you're just fatigued, you know, for a test or something, or you're in school and you had all day school and you're just tired? Absolutely. Everything is an energetic experience. Even emotions will drain you. All these things will drain you. So you have to allow energy to flow through without being connected. Because it's the connection, it's the conscious connection that starts to take hold in draining you. It's the fact that you care. You know, all these facts are involved. Uh, one, there, is there a way or method then to calm the mind and make it still from thought so that energy is not lost? That's a, what I've been talking about, Sam. Absolutely. And that, it takes a little while to... To keep working and keep pulling yourself into the now, meaning that you stop thinking. Well, that's easy for one to say because most people don't realize they're thinking. So how do you stop thinking and, and control the mind when you don't even realize the mind is controlling your, your consciousness? That's where meditation has been established through years, contemplation, prayer, ways to try to shut down the monster. Well... Get any book by J. Krishnamurti. I got a great gift that was given to me. It was Krishnamurti's. It wasn't his last book. I think it was a compilation of his work. Um, 
I, I, I loaned it to another gentleman here, uh, and he's just opening like, wow, 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 pop, pop, pop. And that's the thing. Learn to be the observer. Watch. Don't think. Don't want. Watch. Spend a week, and I've asked you this before, spend a week just watching things. Don't, 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 don't make a judgment of what you're seeing. Don't, don't, don't make a judgment. If a judgment comes in, shut it down. Just watch. Be every moment watch and look around. Like you, just like you flew to a new planet, you got right off the ship. You would be, you, the mind would not be there. You would be totally like, Looking and observing it. After a while, the mind would start registering and clicking, and then categorizing and and lumping and comparing and 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 stacking and computing and putting in the library all the things that it's experiencing. But initially, you're the observer. You want to see everything. To see everything, you can't think because thought reduces consciousness to thought. So. You must become conscious or consciousness. The only way to do that is become the observer as opposed to the thinker. And it just takes a little work and practice. I used to walk up and down the beach just trying to be in the now, observing, trying to see people's auras, you know, trying to just observe, not make any judgment cause fat, little skinny, beautiful, thin, you know, good looking, whatever. Try not to engage the mind in those kind of things. Uh, our I think you meant, are there any books discussing this subject that you recommend? Yeah, J. Krishnamurti, K-R-I-S-T-M-U-R-T-I, J. Krishnamurti, a great, great guy, supposed to be a guru to millions, said, hey, I'm no guru, but let me show you to have, how to have consciousness, how to have awareness, because actually that's all what religion and, and spirituality is about anyway. How do I become who I really am, and how do I know who I really am? And how do I experience it? That old, who am I, where am I from, you know, that sort of thing. But the only way you can know that is shut down your bodies from buying for your attention. you got to shut down that which is dualistic, that which is creation. That's your bodies of mind, emotions, and physical body. And the only way is the, to get to where everything is not in time, because time donates Duality is to be in the present moment. To be in the present moment means you're beyond the mind. You're away from thought, because thought is involved in time. And is it to live in that present moment? And observation, the beginning stages of observation is key. As you do that, you also, there's a key word called surrendering. Now, we've heard that from Christianity. We've heard that from a lot of sources, and they're right on. But you don't surrender your everything, you know. You don't surrender to God because that's who you are. If you keep yourself and God is separate, it will always be there. And you will never have the God experience. Remember, we've talked a lot about God absorption, the Sufi name for God absorption. And you must have God absorption, meaning you just have to be who you already are. <laughs> but to do that, you've got to go beyond duality, go beyond time, go beyond limitation. The allness has nothing to do with limitation, has nothing to do with creation, has nothing to do with matter, energy, space, or time. That's all illusionary concepts. Throw, throw something on the screen. Turn on a channel. Um, all right. Uh, number two, you mentioned uh, selenium in report. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear that? But isn't selenium found in seaweed like kelp? Well, that's the thing. And you're exactly right. I mean, all this stuff, you know, I'm saying this is probably industrial selenium. There's the point. When you find selenium in seaweed, in vegetables, or in fruit, do you find just selenium? No, you don't. You find all the compadres. You find the whole chemical family synergistically bonded in the proper ratios and buffered properly. We scientifically can't even agree on theories, let alone understand how this, the Creator did this. So you have to go back and trust that all chemistry finds its homeostasis if you ingest that in its natural state. Man, the, the what? But it's the immaturity of the mind, and maybe maybe if the Homo sapiens survive all this, 
and they gain their, their awareness, and they, they'll look back in this time period, maybe, who knows, at the immaturity of the mind at this level, at this, this level of creation, because uh, the Homo sapien is a, a very aggressive and violent species. But if you look at that, you find that not so much in the islanders who eat the food you're supposed to, as, well, maybe not so much today, but you find that more in your northerners. You find it in those people that have high-protein diets and study many studies through the years equating meat-eating to aggression. I mean, this is these are facts. These are studies that have been done. Matter of fact, in the 70s, I read about a lot of studies like that. So, uh, again... When you isolate chemistry, and the same thing, I'll say this about arsenic is the same thing. Any of some of these uh, these metals can kill you. I almost got that way myself. Remember, and that is, and that was synergistically bound in an herb, but higher, out of ratio. I don't know why that plant was created. I have no idea. But here again, in low dosages, they say that plant is a neural regenerator. Peruvian bark. I do not recommend anybody trying Peruvian bark, even in low dosages, because you do not want that experience. Guarantee you. Takes you several years to get out of it. And say it's not it's not good. These high neurotoxins will it's not good. Breathing is a good idea. <laughs> so you find that same thing, Sam, when you isolate chemistry. And that's why I'm against this supplements and all this isolating, buying bags of calcium, magnesium, and then just a little here and a you know a little scoop here and a little scoop there. That's how we make it. Go go into some uh, vitamin mineral uh, manufacturer someday and take a look at the uh, the source. I've got a source book here. I can order anything out of it. Comes in 50 pound bags, 25 pound bags. Whatever type of calcium I want, whatever type of magnesium I want, whatever I want. But uh, not quite what the doctor ordered. Now, let me see. I keep on going for a while. <laughs> but on these two cases, whenever you have a neurological case or you have a, a trauma case, you guys know that you can fix them. You know, unless their karma says, it's time for me to leave the planet, but this guy's hanging around, so it isn't his time. And so these cases can be well fixed. This is why you guys are so, so important. I was having a big conversation about it this morning, and it's like most humans are herd humans. They're fearful of change because in change, the unknown, and that's the problem, is that the mind and emotions and duality pulls us into that uncertainty. But when you pull yourself in the now, you connected with everything in the universe, plants, animals, everything, because everything comes out of that now, out of consciousness, and then is manifested in materiality or in duality. But it all, the, all of this comes out of consciousness. When you're consciousness, you're home. You're home. And you don't feel insecure. You don't care if someone throws you in a hole and covers you up because you are totally in the ecstasy of all life and nothing can hurt you anymore. And change is fun. Change has always been fun for me. I love change. What I don't love is the same thing every day, day in and day out. I love change. It, that, that, that's a beauty of creation. It's constantly ongoing and moving. And humans have to accept that and be excited about that. But uh, governments and everything else, they just everything's about power and control here. It's horrible. So much thanks for considering my case on Q&A 248. Uh, who's this? Oh, M-A-N-U-E-L-A, -E Switzerland. I love you guys. Man, I don't know. I can't remember the name of this guy, but there's a new show on TV. Now, this, he wasn't in Switzerland, but he was outside of Australia. And there's this uh, kind of hermit guy he had. He was, uh, he, 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 he was worth six and a half million dollars and he lost it. Now he's a hermit on this beautiful little island with the Aborigines. Oh, he was so cool. I thought, oh my God, I'll trade him places any day. Holy crap. Now I feel myself 100% understood, both physically and psychologically. Uh, it is super that you so like figure skating. Oh no, I love figure skating. Oh yeah, oh no, 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 no. I actually, for a few years there, really 
really just had to watch it all the time because I just love all that triple sec, all that stuff that you do. It's amazing. Uh, I like I, I like I like uh, uh, anything like that. By the way, I am a her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, sweetheart. I am sending you another photo taken in my active days when I was an athlete, which you will find in the enclosure. And the outer picture is me and my husband today. Oh, cool. Shortly, I should be receiving a new report from uh, Gabby uh, Trinker, Trinkner, a therapist, which I'm already looking forward to receiving so I can start on the mono fasting fruit cure and the oh are you a figure skater now that would be cool let me see here what do we got pictures oh do we have holy crap honey woo hoo gee many Christmas this you oh my look how incredible this lady is look at this look at this is that not cool you know I People find it crazy, but I would love to be able to do stuff like that. People find that crazy, but I would love to be able to do stuff like that. Some of these dancers, so you think you can dance, just started. Uh, and my God, this year is going to be a killer year. It's like uh, America's Got Talent. That's it was so many good things. Oh, here they are. There's a couple. Hmm. Yeah, good looking couple. You know how couples seem to look a lot alike. Well, I'm glad you told me you were her, and keep that raw up, honey, and get yourself, boy, incredible, good, oh, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Here's one. Uh, I live in Minnesota. Uh, the new Ekin car, I should say, has a big uh, uh, place up there. But if I lived near you, I would be in your office immediately, <laughs> honey. <coughs> See that? I'm going through it, but I'm happy to go through it. You know, the deeper I dig, the happier I am always. Because through the years, you accumulate again by cheating here and cheating there. You know, you build back up, then you got to clean back out. And I never get this, ever. So I'm so excited. Like I say, I've been fasting for four days. I'm excited about that. I had a CT scan, and they found a tumor. Ugh. Four by two and a half centimeters. Oh, God, that's not real small. On my spine, T11. And my nodules in my lungs and spleen that are calcified. So you can see see the connection, but what's going on here with her, her? yeah, Leslie, uh, between the, uh, the tumor and then the nodules and things like this. Because the lymph system is a systemic system. When it's backed up in one place, remember, it's backed up all through the body. Degreed, admitted, and of course, more involved where your genetic weaknesses are over where you're not. Uh, absolutely. But it depends what this is doing to your spine. If it's starting to create paralysis, I'd pull that out with black salve immediately, myself. But if you've got time, you've got to fix it anyway, or you'll grow it right back again. You've got to get those kidneys filtering again. That is really, really key to this. It'll clean the lungs and spleen. That'll clean out. You know, calcified it just means it's, a, it's yanking calcium instead of cholesterol, neutralizing acids. Remember that the game, the game that's out there, you know, each side fighting each other. Help. I see the doctor today. I am not going to jump into chemo. Oh, Leslie, and you didn't give me a way to get a hold of you. You didn't give me any way to get a hold of you, sweetheart. I don't know how to get a hold of you. But I'm going to try to get Chris, although I'll be lucky to get it up today. Probably be first thing in the morning, and today is Wednesday. So tomorrow's Thursday, and that's the quickest I can get this up. Uh, I am not going to jump into chemo. I, psh, hell no, until I study everything I can on healing. Well, you don't have to study too much on healing, sweetheart. Just understand you've got to get your lymph moved. This is a lymphatic thing issue. This is a tumor. That's a lymphatic system. And that filters through your kidneys. Whatever side of that spine that's on, that's that kidney. Although you're going to fix both kidneys at the same time, obviously. I bought your uh, book, the Detox Miracle Source book. I am a vegetarian for 25 years. Vegetarian, 25 years. It isn't always about the meat. It's about all the other stuff. The proteins, the beans, the milks, all the other stuff. And now beginning the vegan life, I suggest that you move from the vegan life to the fruitarian life immediately. And uh, I would put myself on an extended grape fast, 10, 20, 30 days, start pulling that out before it does anything to the spine and then creates paralysis. 
uh uh we want to stop that immediately. Uh, what would be your advice on handling this tumor? Like now, and I would get, put myself on a grape fast, and maybe after that, uh, maybe a five day water fast, or then do a maybe do this do a, a 10 day lemon juice or a grape fast, and then a 10 day lemon juice fast, and then see where you are on that. Make sure get your self inflammation jar, pee in it, make sure you're filtering. If you're not, I'd get at least two kidney for I do these protocols get two kidney formulas, two lymphatic formulas. I mean, really get in and start moving that lymph. Uh, hydration, hydration, hydration. And hydration occurs on the base or alkaline side. That means fruits, veggies, berries, and melons. But when you got tumors, nick say the veggies. You can always go back to the veggie garden, but now you got to go higher. What would be your, okay, is radiation that is applied on the tumor itself good? <laughs> no, 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 because no matter what lies they tell you, it'll burn all the way through and you have scattered. No, I, I'll tell you, it, it's not about reducing what well, you I'm going to reduce it with radiation, putting all my tissues in, in the, in the, in the local vicinity at extreme risk just for reducing it. Uh, and then they're going to remove it and it'll grow back because I haven't fixed why I have the tumor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can the tumor shrink with a vegan diet? No. With a fruititarian diet, gone. You don't want to shrink it. You want it gone. And if you can't do that in a timely manner, I'd use black salve and pull the whole thing out and, and get, get it out of there. And then, you know, go back and keep going raw. What about the different herbal blends and formulas you have? Absolutely. I get myself on a, on, on a, uh, on, on a protocol right off. And I've given that protocol out many times. You know, two kidney formulas, two lymphatic formulas, one capsule, one tincture, remember? Those sort of things. And go after this. You're going after your lymph system. And I don't care what you have. Whether you have fibroids, whether you have fibromyalgia, or whether you have lupus lines, whether you have cancers, whether you have whatever. If you look at this and you understand this, you will see how that a system was developed, all these little symptoms, and a name we call diseases applied to that. Of course, because they don't understand why, they're mostly called autoimmune, that kind of crap. No, 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 no. That, 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 that system is antiquated. That system is ridiculous. That system doesn't work. There, there's no way the allopathic system works. I mean, if you need surgeries, absolutely works, right? ERs work, absolutely. But well, as again, spent a lot of years at three different hospitals in ERs, and I can tell you, we can make it a lot better. But praise God for emergency rooms. That's all I got to say. But we need we need good docs there, docs that understand the body better and how to deal with these, because we can do a lot with herbs and things in the ER, lots of stuff. And if we had intravenous treatment of herbs, we can do a lot, lot, lot more in a lot quicker time. We don't know. We have to go through the ingestion method. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, some years ago, you healed me with your YouTube Q&A and uh, dumbfounded the doctors. Well, let's do it again because obviously you didn't get your kidneys totally filtering, sweetheart. So now let's do Let's get those kidneys totally filtering because you you got to get these tumors out, that's tumor out, and get these other nodules out of there. Calcification just means that you're, you're pulling calcium out of the structure, though, which can herniate the structure. So those calcifications will break down like cholesterol breaks down. But you've got to get that interstitial fluid hydrated. And the only way you can do that is start to get where why it's stagnant, which is kidneys and adrenals. And at the same time, the chemistry coming in wants to be astringent and base, predominantly base. Not all base. You can't get all base. Predominantly base. That's your fruits and your berries. That fits in a tea. There's your most powerful food on the planet. Uh, I hope to amaze this oncologist too. You will. I wish you to get Leslie to get a hold of us. Thank you for the endless hours. Oh, thanks, sweetheart. But make sure that you deal with this and get this done and you don't make wrong decisions or bad decisions that could uh, break down the whole spine because you radiate that, you could break down your whole spine. You want to be real careful right now. Now, uh, let me see this one. Hello, and thank you for all the time and energy you spent answering our questions. I love it. That's because I love you guys. When you got, when anybody says, I need help, I'm going to be there. And I would like to see our whole team, all of us on YouTube, Facebook, I'd like to see our whole team available. 
We're here for, for you. Because we already have what we need. We know truth. We know the answers. We're working on ourselves. We're working on spirituality. And here, let us put our hand of love and help out. What's wrong with that? You know, this world is too cold as it is. I have taken a couple bottles of granular kidney, two tinctures kidney and tin kidney tonic one. I am filtering off and on. And look at what you've taken already and you're still just filtering off and on. Remember the adrenal glands on top because that's your neurotransmitters and your steroids. Both probably interact with kidney filtration at one level or another, particularly your neurotransmitters, and particularly dopamine and acetylcholine. Uh, I just got another bottle of glandular after I heard you say you could go on it again after a time off. Absolutely, on the kidney glandulars. I do the kidney glandulars to wake up the cells of the kidneys. But we also remember kidneys get stagnant just like they have lymph systems like everything else. And generally kidneys will filter themselves. They might shut down the filtration of the system coming in, which is the main system of the body. But they still filter themselves. When they don't, that's when your creatine, remember, starts to go up in your blood. That shows that kidneys are failing themselves. Even though they may have stopped filtering 20 years before as good as they should, they now are not filtering even themselves. And that's when the creatine goes up. And that's when you're in trouble because you, you've long quit filtering. And now the kidneys are getting really in trouble. I am concerned that I'm healing that a healing reaction may be severe and would like an idea of how to handle it should it arise in future detox. You know, I don't get a lot of severe healing crisis anymore the way I design these kits and detox and the way we talk about it. I was thinking about this at lunch that uh, I remember years ago, I just got, I don't know, I was so busy and I, I got involved with uh, Mountain Dew. I mean, it's fruity drink, right? You know, I'm, you know, you, you kind of go, you can see that in yourselves, how you kind of wander in and out. And I was, I was doing all kinds of things. I was doing my practice. I was doing lectures every night, classes on the weekend. I, I mean, it was crazy. And so it's just something, you know, just something that's sweet and grab and go, and you know, you're on the go. Well, I got a lump in my throat from that mucus lump in my throat. I don't know, what the hell is this? So I went to the ER. Doc says, well, I can't see anything. I said, I can't. I can feel when I swallow. I think it's going to close my throat off. No, I don't see anything. I'm like, oh, shit, here we go. Same thing, right? So I go fasting on carrot juice. That, that Back then, in the, in the mid-70s, uh, that's what you did, basically. Carrot juice fasting. Wouldn't get it. Didn't get it. I'm going, what? I'm fasting. I'm on carrot juice. It should be getting this. I've learned a lot about vegetable guys, vegetable fasting over, over fruit fasting, personally. So uh, that's why the difference between the vegetables and the fruits. Key, essential, when you have tumors, swellings, mucus buildup, to go to the fruits and berries, not the veggies. Uh-uh. You know, those are for balancing times and things like that. I am concerned that a, a healing reaction, so I don't, you might not have a severe healing reaction. Mm -mm. Especially, you know, especially when the kidneys are filtering. I find the most, kid, the most healing Christ reactions are when the kidneys are not filtering and you're pulling and you're yanking and you're, you're trying to get the body to move and the kidneys are going, I ain't going nowhere. That's when you have more, more reactions, I think, than anything. Uh, it has been seven and five years. It has been seven and five years since I had these kidney infections. Well, it just shows you uh, that your kidneys are impacted themselves. Uh, I don't know what your creatinine is, but it'd be something to look at. Both times I was working outside here in South Florida summer and let myself get dehydrated, which I had no clue at the time was a causative factor only now listening to you. The doctor, of course, said it was bacterial. <laughs> Sure, we have bacteria, but what are bacterium after? What is the role of bacteria? And I hear this infection crap all the time. Oh, you got an infection. You got it. Those people that take the antibiotics thinking it's an infection are the ones that always seem to get the cancers, all the ones that get the lupus, the limes, the fibromyalgias, because what you've done is killed your bacteria that break down these acids. Can't do that. This is all about acids and mucus. Uh, read Arnold Herrett's books. I mean, he, he thought everything was because of mucus. Now that we understand things more and understand chemistry more and understand, we, we really understand why. 
But he, he started off by under, getting people to understand there's foods that are mucus forming and there's foods that are non mucus forming. Well, when you look at foods that are mucus forming, that's obviously foods that are like, eh, because they're irritating the mucosa, their energy, their magnetics, everything about them. The body goes, I don't want you. And so mucus is produced by the mucosa. And some foods create a huge response. Some foods, if I eat, I'll feel it sinus, lungs, I can't breathe. It's just wham! And dairy and, and every sense of the word are at the top of this huge no no list. Huge no no list. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, but anyway, uh, in the bacteria, it's about hydration, but it isn't blood hydration. It's interstitial. Interstitial simply means around cells. And it's miles of this. And it's just that you're too acidic and you burned your electrolytes up, and now you're so acidic your body can't even absorb it. You can't get that anionic or ionic reaction as much anymore. In fact, you just pee out your electrolytes. That's why you'll see your urine pH go base or alkaline when you start a raw food diet, if you're not filtering. Because you're losing your electrolytes, and it takes a while to get the kidneys to filter and get hydration interstitially, because you have miles of this. Then you're talking about through all the little capillary beds and right interstitial fluid right around every cell. And you got, what, 100 trillion cells? So it's a big deal. You guys are, are, are writing the, the hardest, the biggest deal ever, but you're, you're writing the correct deal. And let's see, both times from the first symptom that something was happening, within three hours I was hospital bound. Uh, polynephritis and uh, going quickly into septicemia. Ooh, you're not filtering worth a crap. This is this is a this is a big deal. You uh you 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 really got to get your kidneys filtering, get your adrenals up, and get your kidneys filtering. This is a big deal. Or you're going to always have problems, my friend. Uh, both times I was given a high powered anti exactly, and both times all antibiotics do is kill bacteria and suppress the lymph system. Well, guess what? Next time it's even worse, and sometimes it can about take you out. You know this is the can't think in these circles anymore, not in, in, and go to Wellville. Uh, and allowed to go home with the shot and pills instead of the hospital said, she said previously my case would have had to be hospitalized with IV meds because of the severity. Since I have been careful to come off of liquids like tea, sodas, see what I'm saying? I have not, and proteins, proteins, hardest on the kidneys there are are proteins, but you know, another problem, I have had pain in the area since cleaning up the diet, only rarely though, oh, I have not had pain in the kidneys, as uh, very rarely, but uh, since she's cleaned up her program, uh, let's see, I do not want, I do not want to have a healing so I don't want to have a healing uh, reaction, have my family freak out, you must be young, and insist on the hospital if this is inevitable. No, no you don't get a healing crisis like that. I don't think so, honey. I think uh, you really, you just got to get your kidneys filtering. So I'd get on to at least two kidney formulas, at least one lymphatic system to start with, and then move up to two. And, and you know, do all the other stuff too, parasite M, uh, you know, GI tract, clean the GI tract. That's a feed into the kidneys as well. So get all that cleaned up. Absolutely. That's not going to give you a, a strong healing crisis. And if your parents don't understand it, let them watch the video. Because if they don't, your parents could make you lose your kidney. I mean, this is uh, something you can't take a, can't go to the hospital for all the time, get antibiotics, because eventually you lose your kidney. They don't know how to fix these things. It's obvious. It, it, it's truth because their, their system is totally flawed. And, and you, your system of thinking. But it's not their fault, it's just the way life has come along here. Unconsciousness toward consciousness. Um, uh, would, would I keep on hand certain tinctures to take hourly? You know what? You could take kidney, uh, two kidney tinctures about every, you could take a dropper full about every two to three hours when you have a condition like this. I'd also do something for my adrenal glands, whether they're glandular or herbs. Uh, I definitely would do something for my lymph system with it. You know, I'm doing the same thing. I do lymphatic one and kidney number one and kidney number two uh, every three to four hours if you do something like that, or every two to three hours. Absolutely could do that. And shift yourself into a fruit diet. I don't care what, you know, especially a grape fast or a lemon juice fast. 
You didn't want to go to the sweetness, go to the lemon juice fast. That, that'll strand your kidneys and pull this stuff out. Absolutely. Uh, I do not want to, okay, da 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 da, da. Hourly or whatever. The pain all over my body, aching and chills was horrible. So, well, but you know what? Don't let that scare you. That's, that's life in the fast lane. You know, the body is what it is. And when you're starting to get acidic and, 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 and backed up like that, yep, chills. Anything, anything the body can do to start opening itself, the body's, your body's freaking out. It's trying to, trying to open itself up and get this stuff out of you. Don't get, don't get upset with that. It's natural rhythm of nature. You know, just do something about it. Uh, scares me a bit to think of having a replay. Well, I don't think you will. You do it right, sweetheart. I don't think you will. Karina? Uh, you'll be okay, sweetheart. You can, remember, if you need help, you've got a, a clinic, a uh, club. We're in the club. You guys see that yet? The problem with checking the website out, you have to be a club member. Well, we have some things to view first on it. That's helpful, you know. But basically, membership's free. <laughs> it's just protective. And you guys will know why someday, why you have to be protected. Yeah, let's see. Hi, Dr. Morris. I am a big fan. Of, oh, thanks, man. I have two odd questions for you. Uh-oh. I should read these first, shouldn't I? <laughs> During detox, is it okay to get a good amount of calories from fruit, or is it recommended to eat less than usual? You know, I find this a good question. I find this a question that that I've been thinking about a lot because we have all these levels, and we've talked about fasting. To me, fasting is the top. Water fasting or dry fasting. Me, I like hydrating fast, so I like water fasting. Is at the top of detox. That's what nature does. Now you're with nature, what nature does. However, I think humans are a little bit too dehydrated and acidic and full of limp stagnation. I think water fasting in the earlier stages is not smart. I think that fruit fasting and berry fasting is smart. Now, some of you are so toxic, you can't even do that. So you got to go to green drink fasting first, move up to fruit fasting second, and then if you really get that system opened up and everything, you can go to your water fasting. I think water fasting, your kidneys should be filtering. That, that, that's key, in my opinion, to keep from these more severe healing crisis symptoms. You know? uh, calories, I don't even think calories. This is about energetics, chemistry, not about calories. God didn't set up food as a calorie thing. Nothing, nobody outside of those people that think calories think calories. It doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with that. You'll see as you begin to clean and restore the body how little. And there was a study recently done that, and it was on Fox News, that said the less calories you have, the healthier you tend to be. So, you know, we have a lot of concepts and ideas and puffs up, but you got to look at it in context of the body that's talking about that and what they have to do to keep their health up. Like the 30 to 60 banana a day guy. Nobody can eat that kind of bananas. But you're thinking of calories, and that's because you're not clean. You're not filtering, and you're not clean. When you're clean, it's not about calories. Uh -uh. This is about resistance to energy, energy resistance and acidosis, you know. And about as much about neurotransportation of, of neurotransmitters and everything else as, as anything else. You know, it's not it's not it's not amount of calories to keep you running and all that. You'll see that. You guys will get up on a fast and have more energy on a fast than you do when you eat. And you're running and running and running. You go, damn, I'm getting bored. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's just when someone says things like that and calories in terms of we know who we're talking about. I know they haven't dug deep in their body and cleaned themselves out because they're sticking. Speaking from a uh, from a position where they haven't had that experience. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see here. Uh, I don't like the idea of becoming too skinny on detox. I know that, and I know that's a big problem with with those that are malabsorbed. But you, as we've said here many times before, and you're going to get thin on on a raw diet no matter what, especially initially. I'm telling you, pretty soon, and you'll, you'll start to hear this on YouTube, where people are starting to put their muscles back on, on raw food again. And is it they always come off, and now you're done, you're, that raw food means you're going to be skinny. Uh-uh, uh-uh. It means the body's cleaning itself first, and then it's going to rebuild. The body's wise. Give the body and, and the Creator due respect. It knows just what it needs, what it's doing, more than we do. And so, it's just allowing the body to do its proper thing. And when you're malabsorbed from the lymph system back up, backing up interstitially in the gut wall, 
That's a, that's a trip. You've got to fix that problem. If not, you'll end up with IBS, you'll end up with Crohn's, you'll end up with something and wonder, well, how did I get here? This is a disease. How did I get, excuse me, how did I get that? No, 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 no. It, don't, that thinking is antiquated and keeps you away from finding truth and true vigor and vitality. But there's always a process. You go to school, you got to get educated, right? So you got to go through all the classes and everything else before you get that. But that doesn't make you a doctor or a whatever you're in. It, time involved in, in the issue, involved in your career, involved what, that's what makes you a real person. Your experience gives you the sense of authority, a sense of knowingness. Schooling, that's the mind. You're, you're titillating the mind and feeding the mind. It doesn't give you that feeling of, I'm experienced. Those that have went through it and, and rode the bull, and all, those are the authorities because they've went through it. That's why when you see these wise old uh, spiritual masters, they've been through hell. They've been through up and down, ripped apart by, by God. And now they're just totally God people because nothing else matters and they realize that. And they've been ripped in their lower bodies so they can let go of creation. Because if you can't low, let go of creation, one day it'll be ripped from you. You know, if you want to know the answers of truth, and truth isn't found in, in duality and in, uh, and, in separation and in isolation and all that creation gives. Limitation. The finite. Truth isn't in the finite. Truth is in the infinite. That which is the creator of all that is finite. Yep. Uh, but if you get a little skinny, breeze, go through it, and you'll get on the other side. And then build yourself up. If, you, if your body isn't building yourself up, then go into your, your green drinks and pump those. And there's a lot of good ways to build up. Get some very strong muscles. But first, do yourself the biggest favor you ever did is get your, your human body in good shape. That will resonate into the emotional body and into the mental body. Because the more acidic you are in the brain physically, your mind will just chatter. Just sit there and chatter on you. When you're on a fa Notice when you're on a water fast or you're on a fruit diet? Mm. My mind is quiet. I'm not, you know, chattering. I can observe more. I'm telling you, the diets man eats keeps his mind chattering a lot. All of you that have done these, though, have experienced these things. I know you have. Also, you said that bacteria is not the enemy. They are just there to feast on the limb. But what about flesh-eating bacteria? Well, I thought about that, too. And think about the people that are involved in that and weaknesses. There are, they're definitely proteolithic bacterium. No question, flesh eaters. But... It's, it's all magnetically controlled. You have to understand this. And those people that the flesh is consumed like this, I'm telling you, these are people where you have weak tissue. If you look at their eyes, you'll see skin rings. You'll see all this kind of stuff. Weaknesses. Weaknesses, and I've said this before. It's an easy observation. Just watch any animal planet or any National Geographic or anything like that. Discovery channels. It's obvious. Weakness is terminated by nature, whether it's by a stronger species or bacterium or whatever. That's nature. So the word to the wise out there is clean and strengthen. And you don't have to worry about flesh-eating bacteria. If you don't and you get yourself so down, even the buzzards might follow you. <laughs> They're just uh, uh, Flesh-eating bacteria is deadly and disfigures people for life. Don't have to. And the way they use antibiotics on them, that's why. I mean, there's a lot. The way they go after flesh-eating bacteria is unbelievable. But I have to say is, the way we would go after this would be totally different. But I have to say, these cases, and I saw that girl where it just ate her up bad. I saw that. I watched that case. I watched a couple cases like that. And I've been thinking about a lot of that through the years, you know, about how that, why that is. And it goes back to... It goes back to that every time. Whatever is weak shall be terminated by nature. And that's, that's why we have to be careful. That's why you end up like little boy in the bubble syndromes. I have to cut off because everybody's going to get out of here. But I'm going to come back tomorrow and try to polish all this up because I've got so much to talk to you guys about. Somebody showed me some toe fungus stuff here. And... Uh, But you know what? You can use an uh, antifungal like Parasite M, but
But I'll be honest with you, when you're that bungled up, it's systemic. So, you're going to use a parasite in, but you're going to go after what system? Remember the little commercial for Lamisil and the little guy in the gook? Exactly, that's your lymph system. Now, how did they know that? See, I always said pharmaceutical companies are smarter than you know. <laughs> be interesting, wouldn't it? Uh, because when you look at some of these commercials and the way they're designed, they have to know. It's like cholesterol plaquing. Why did Crestor, who had their commercial showing cholesterol all plaqued on the artery wall, change it to match Lipitor to show that it's interstitial cholesterol plaquing, not vascular wall plaquing? Huh, interesting stuff. Well, how did they know that? And how come that isn't discussed? You know, everybody assumes cholesterol plaques on the wall. You see, I really need your help, and I would appreciate it if indeed you could answer my question. I have done what I have found on the internet, but nothing worked for my case. I took medicine for years, not for fungus and stuff like this. I don't care what you take. Uh -uh. You've got to get your sewer system working. This is sewage problems. You've got to get your sewer system. You've got to get your kidneys. No matter what you see, the effect on nails or any other tissue in the body, it's always acids doing it predominantly. It can be some alkalis, but that's rare. So, acids... And this is, this is the lymph system, and this is a kidney adrenal thing, but also people get full of fungus all over the place, so you want to uh, use an, a, a, a herbal, Parasite M, but at the same time, you've got to move your lymph. If you want a total clean, that's the only way you're going to get it. I've used Parasite M on these advanced cases and used tons of it, and it's like they got a lot better, but until they move their lymph, I didn't see 100% Cure. Now, minor fungus, absolutely. If you got moles on, you want to take parasite in until your moles start falling off. But then that shows you that they're just feeding on you. They're feeding on a system that's not metabolizing sugars. That takes you right down to your adrenals, it takes you right down to your kidneys, and it takes you right down to your, your blood and lymph. I've been on a raw food diet for about two years now, but you see how a raw food diet isn't enough? Raw food diet isn't enough? I thought I'd never say that in my life, but it's true. We, that's why I, I guess God led me to the botanicals, but we have to understand we can use botanicals for an incredible adventure if we use them correctly. And their focus is not disease fighting, it's cleaning and strengthening the human body. And that's cells and two fluids, correct? Now, uh, although I have lost weight, two years free of cold and flu, cured all my allergies, aches, and feeling healthier than I was younger, I still have one thing that could not cure. It is that toe fungus. That's because you're not deep enough lymphatically. Take it another step. And I know what you're saying, fruit and fungus, but get into the fruit diet, use the parasite M, but I would get on two kidney forms, two lymphatic forms, start digging into my lymph system, and that toenail will clean up nicely. And make sure your parathyroid is working so you have a good strong nails. Uh, although I've cured all my aches and allergies, but, you know, you just got to dig deeper. And that's how deep the lymph system is, you know. You just have to keep digging into that system. And I would get into the herbs and take myself a little deeper and get up into the more of the fruit levels and then maybe into the water fasting. I'll be glad to help you. I will do whatever I have to do. It's just, yeah, that you have, that's what you have to do. I do not go to my yoga classes anymore because of, oh, listen, honey. You know what? Don't worry about that. Marcelo, oh, Marcelo, hey, man. And you say, don't worry about that. Fix that. Fix that. Uh, and that's your lymph system, and that'll fix that right up. I have thousands of cases like this one. Um, P.S. If you need more information about my diet, etc., please let me know. I need you to go on our diet, which is going to be the uh, fruitarian way. And do the sub-acid category. You can do berries of all kinds. You pick up some sweets. I don't care. And take off it that way. And take care of this toe fungus. But I would do a parasite M. I'd probably do four dropper fools for a while in there because you're probably more involved than you think in, in the body type of thing. And then you'll be good. You'll be good to clean that up. I'd rather do a case like this than an R. You know? I mean, I wouldn't. I love cases like an R's. But... Poor Lenar, you're going to get yourself back to life. That's all I've got to say. The right focus. You can save some of the most advanced souls you've ever seen where bodies have been destroyed. You can bring these bodies back, guys. You know, if it's their time and they're going to stay on this planet, you can bring that back. They're going to work through their karmas and work through their things. Okay. But we can help them. 
And that's the beauty of the way nature has this all set up. And that's all we're doing. We're echoing the way this, the Creator set everything up. We're finally going to the diet designed for the human body. And we're simply using the tools that nature grows for us. I mean, I don't know what else you can say. When man steps in and creates the tools, it doesn't work as well, does it? Most of them don't work at all. So you got to go back to nature again. Have the big mother hug you. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Sorry you have to run through these, but... And I'm kind of in my run-in and grab day. I've been working all day, so I'm not with my fancies. <laughs> Love you guys. Take care of yourselves.